Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyal Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in Solution and Discussion on Gate Question Paper in Mechanical Engineering. This is lecture number 53. The topic is Fluid Dynamics. We take few questions in the topic Fluid Dynamics and we will discuss the answer to those questions. The first question from 2014 question paper. A chiffon is used to drain water from a large tank as shown in the figure below. So, this is the figure. Assume that level of water is maintained constant. So, the level here Zp is constant. Ignore frictional effect due to viscosity and losses at the entry and exit. At the exit of this chiffon, velocity of the water. There are four options here. And look at this diagram. So, this is the O point O, this is point R. So, the point O is at a height of Z2O. This is Q, top of the chiffon. So, the height is ZQ, here ZR and level of water equal to ZP. And the correct answer, the velocity at the point R. So, here at the outlet of the chiffon, uh, the velocity equal to option B, VR equal to square root of 2G into ZP minus ZR. That is the correct answer. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, again the diagram is redrawn here. We apply the Bernoulli's equation between the point O and the R, <coughs> inlet and the outlet of the siphon. PO by rho g plus VO square by 2g plus Z2 equal to PR by rho g plus VR square by 2g plus ZR. PO, the pressure here at this point, that is equal to rho g into Zp minus Z2O. So, rho g into Zp minus Z2O will be rho g equal to velocity here at the point O equal to 0, 0 square by 2g plus Z2O equal to pressure here at the outlet, it is atmospheric pressure, it is 0 again plus Vr square by 2g plus Zr. So, in the first term rho g is getting cancelled, we will get Zp minus Z2O plus Z2O equal to Vr square by 2g plus Zr. So, the rearranging Vr equal to square root of 2g into Zp minus Zr because Z2O minus Z2O plus Z2O getting cancelled. So, the Vr equal to square root of 2G into Zp minus Zr that is the answer. The next question, a venturi meter of 20 millimeter throat diameter is used to measure velocity of water in a horizontal pipe of diameter 40 millimeter. If the pressure difference between the pipes and the throat, pipe and the throat is found to be 30 kilopascal, neglecting friction losses, the flow velocity the answer is 2 meters per second. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, diameter of the pipe is 0 0.04 meter, diameter of the throat section is 0, 0 0.02 meter, pressure difference is 30 kilo Pascal. So, using the continuity equation, the relation between velocities a1 v1 equal to a2 v2. So, v2 equal to a1 v1 divided by a2, d1 square v1 divided by d2 square, substituting v2 equal to 4 times of v1. Now, apply the Bernoulli's equation. So, P1 by W specific weight plus V1 square by 2G plus Z1 equal to P2 by W plus V2 square by 2G plus Z2 plus HL head loss. For negligible losses and the horizontal venturi meter is horizontal. For horizontal venturi meter Z1 equal to Z2, there is no losses HL equal to 0 and rearranging P1, P1 by rho G minus P2 by rho G equal to V2 square by 2G plus minus V1 square by 2G. Substituting for P1 minus P2, delta P equal to 30,000, 30,000, that is 30 kilo Pascal, 30,000 divided by rho G is 9810 equal to V2 square, 4 V1 square minus V1 square divided by 2 into 9.81. So, here 30,000 divided by 1000 equal to 60. So, this 2 into, actually the 2 into 9.82 is taken to the left side. So, 14, 4 square v1 square equal to 16 v1 square minus v1 square equal to 15 v1 square. 15 v1 square equal to 60. Now, v1 equal to 4. v1 square equal to 4 and v1 equal to 2 meters per second. So, velocity here it is 2 meters per second. The next question from 2015 question paper. Water of density 1000 kilogram per meter cube flows through a venturi meter with inlet diameter 80 millimeter and throat diameter 40 millimeter. The inlet throat, inlet throat gauge are measured to be, inlet and the throat gauges, pressure, throat gauge pressure are measured to be 40 kilo, 400 kilo Pascal and 130 kilo Pascal respectively. Assuming the venturi meter is horizontal and the neglecting the friction, the inlet velocity is, answer is 6 meters per second. 
So, we will see how in the next slide. Here, diameter, pipe diameter 0 0.08 meter, throat diameter 0 0.04 meter, delta P equal to 400 minus 130 equal to 270 kilo Pascal. So, the same method, continuity equation A1, V1 equal to A2, V2. So, V2 equal to D1 square by D2 square into V1, substituting 0 0.08 divided by 0, 0 0.08 square divided by 0 0.04 square into V1 equal to 4 times of V1. Using the Bernoulli's equation, so P1 by rho W plus V1 square by 2G plus Z1 equal to P2 by W plus V2 square by 2G plus Z2 plus HL. There is no losses, so HL equal to 0. Venturi meter is horizontal, Z1 equal to Z2. So finally, P1 minus P2, P1 by rho G minus P2 by rho G equal to V1 square by 2G minus V2 square by 2G. So 270 into 1000. 2,70,000 divided by 9810 equal to 4 V1 square minus V1 square divided by 2 into 9.81. So, numerically, this is 540 equal to 16 V1 square minus V1 square, which is 15 V1 square. So, V1 square equal to 36 and V1 equal to 6 meters per second. Velocity of water in the pipeline is 6 meters per second. The next question from 2015 question paper, a Prandtl tube, that is Pittard statics tube, with the coefficient of velocity equal to 1 is used to measure the velocity of water. The differential manometer reading is 10 millimeter of liquid column with the relative density 10. Assuming g equal to 9.8 meters per second square, the velocity of water is dash meters per second. So, we will find the answer. Head of water column. So, the head of water column because it is given head of liquid column. The manometer, uh, differential manometer has some other liquid with the de relative density of 10. So, we have to convert, head, we have to calculate head of water column equal to head of liquid column into density of liquid divided by density of water minus 1. Density of liquid divided by density of water equal to the relative density. So, 0 0.01 into 10 minus 1 equal to 0 0.09 meter. Velocity equal to square root of 2 gh. So, square root of 2 into 9.8 into 0 0.09 equal to 1.328 meters per second. The answer here is 1.328 meters per second. Next question again from 2015 question paper. In a vertical piston cylinder arrangement, the force is applied to the piston, pushes the water through the nozzle as shown in the figure. So, this is the figure. So, 1 is the piston and the 2 is the nozzle and this is the water jet. So, here the force is given. The water flow out from the nozzle it and reaches the top of its trajectory. The kinetic and pressure energies at the point 1, 2, 3 are respectively. So, kinetic energy and pressure energy point 1, point 2 and point 3. So, if you look at the answer, so point 1, kinetic energy is small, pressure energy is high. Point 2, kinetic energy is large, pressure energy is 0. Point 3, kinetic energy is 0, pressure energy is also 0. So, this is the answer. Option A is the answer. Point 1, point 2, point 3. Kinetic energy and pressure energies. The next question from 2016 question paper. The water jet exiting from a stationary tank through a circular opening of diameter 300 millimeter impinges on a rigid wall as shown in the figure. Neglect all minor losses and assume the, assume the water level in the tank remain constant. The net horizontal force experienced by the wall is dash kN. So, density of water equal to 1000 kg per meter cube. Acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second square. So, this is the tank where the from the center of the uh, nozzle, the height of water is 6.2 meter and the jet of water is impinging on the stationary wall. So, the circular of the opening, diameter of the opening is 300 millimeter. So, what is the force experienced by the wall? That is the question. And so, we calculate the answer F equal to rho A V square. Rho A V square equal to rho A into 2 G H. So, rho A into Velocity square equal to 2gh. Velocity equal to square root of 2gh. Velocity square equal to 2gh. Substituting 1000 into pi by 4 into 0 0.3 square. So, diameter is 0 0.300 millimeter, 0 0.3 square into 2 into 9.10. The acceleration due to gravity is 10 into head equal to 6.2. Calculating F equal to 8.765 kN. The answer is 8.765 kN. Next question from 2017 question paper. The arrangement shown in the figure measure the velocity V of the gas of density 1 kg per meter cube flowing through the pipeline. The acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meter per second square. If the manometric fluid is water of density 1000 kg per meter cube, 
the velocity v is 20 meters per second. The differential head h between the two arms of the manometer is dash millimeter. So, what is the head of water column? That is the question. So, here we calculate the answer is 20.4 milli millimeter. That is the answer. Head of water column is 20.4 millimeter. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, here is the uh, diagram again. Rho W is the water density is 1000. Gas which is flowing through the pipeline density of 1 kilogram per meter cube. Velocity here 20 meters per second and G is 9.81 meter by second square. The head difference of the manometer column, head of water column. So, V equal to square root of 2 G H W into rho W by rho A minus 1. So, H W rearranging the term H W equal to V square by 2 G into rho W minus rho W by rho A minus 1. Substituting V equal to 20 square divided by 2 into 9.81 into 1000 divided by 1 minus 1. This is equal to 0 0.0204 meter which is 20.4 millimeter. That is the answer to the question. The next question, a 60 mm diameter water jet strikes a plate containing a hole of 40 millimeter diameter as shown in the figure. Part of the jet passes through the hole horizontally and remaining is deflected vertically. The density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube. If the velocity velocities are as indicated in the figure, the magnitude of horizontal force required to hold the plate is dash Newton. We calculate the answer here. Force required to hold the plate F equal to rho A V square. So, area here, the there is a hole at the center of the plate. So, outer diameter, outer area minus the whole area. So, rho 1000 pi by 4 A1 square that is D1 square minus D2 square. So, D1 is the outer diameter. So, 0 0.06 square minus D2 is the diameter of the hole in the pipeline which is 0 0.04 square into 20 square velocity square equal velocity equal to 20 meters per second which is 20 square. Now, calculating F equal to 628.3 Newton. So, the answer is 628.3 Newton. The next question a pipeline with variable cross section contains water with a specific weight of 10 power 4 Newton per meter cube. The flow conditions at point 2 points 1 and 2 on the axis of the pipe are P1 equal to 3 bar, V1 equal to 10 meters per second, P2 equal to 1 bar, V2 equal to 20 meters per second. Consider friction losses to be negligible. For no flow conditions between 1 and 2 shown in the figure, it is it, it the height Z1 from the datum 1 meter. If the height Z only from the datum is 1 meter, then height Z2 equal to dash meter. You take acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meters per second square. So, calculating using the Bernoulli's equation, uh, P1 by rho g plus V1 square by 2g plus Z1 equal to P2 by rho g plus V2 square by 2g plus Z1, Z2, substituting all the parameters 3 into 10 power 5 divided by 10 power 5 plus 10 square divided by uh, 10 square divided by 2 into 9.81 plus 1 z1 equal to 1 plus p2 1 in 10 power 5 divided by 10 power 5 plus 20 square divided by 2 into 9.1 plus z2. So, solving this equation z2 equal to 5.709 meter. So, the height of z2 it is 5.709 meter that is the answer to the question. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering. You may find the fluid mechanics and machinery book. You can refer to the book for the theoretical part of the fluid dynamics. And I upload the video lectures of all the subjects to the YouTube channel. You subscribe to the channel, use the videos for better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. We will meet again in another video lecture for the solution of gate question paper in the fluid mechanics. Until then, bye.